Is Vlad here? No. No. All right, I guess it's my turn then. No, it's not just a lot. Oh, it's from a different song. No hug, I know this. You're too tall. I'm tall, right? Six five. Are you serious? Sorry. Man, I'm big. Too yeah. tall, Dale. I'm, uh, I'm hoping someone will try to push me off the stage, in fact. Got any takers? Yeah, come on, Miles. <laughs> Two against one, that's fair. That's fair. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just one name. All right. <laughs> Recently, I uh, just turned the microphone. Turn it off. Hello, I'm back. As, as Dean Martin used to say, I have a special request tonight, but I'm going to read anyway. <laughs> um, recently, the uh, Lou Suarez at the uh, Lake, no, is it Lake County Community College? Yep, no, Lorraine County. County. Lorraine, Lorraine County. Lorraine. Lorraine. Yeah. Lorraine. He sent out, uh, for his workshop, he sent out a challenge that we should write a Billy Collins poem. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know. And bring it to the workshop, and then we'll talk about it. Well, yeah, all right. Horrible poet. So. Horrible millionaire poet. <laughs> oh, he's not a millionaire. Dude, let me tell you a story about Billy Collins. Go ahead. One, one time in a come on up here. No, come on, no, one time in a reading. Come on, Joseph. Joseph, get up there. Tell the story. <laughs> one time in a reading for five thousand people, a young poet raised his hand after the, when the questions came up, and Billy Collins said, "You." And what was that poet's name? I don't know. I don't know the poet's oh, name. I thought it was you. But a young poet raised his hand when, when, when it was the questions period, and he stood up, and in a fit of absolute blitz, he looked up and said, "Show me the light." And Billy Collins could have changed that kid's life, but you know what he did? He said, "Show me the money." Fuck Billy Collins. Whoa! Whoa! I'm, I'm sending this over to. <laughs> yeah. What? That happened. That, that happened. happened. By the way. I like this guy better. He's, he's, he's <laughs> Billy Collins never read here, so fuck him. I say that's a W for this guy and L for Billy Collins. He's a shit. Hey! He's a shit. I don't care if you're a poet or not, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. His heart is black. I'm, I'm sure glad he doesn't have an issue with that. I'm sorry, but that's true. What's that young man's name? That is, that is Joseph. 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 He's actually a very good. Uh, jo uh, Joseph. Uh, Macos. Mullen, 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 Mullen? Joseph. What's your name? Joseph, Joseph Macos. 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 Okay. Joseph Macos, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah. He will be here eventually. All right. So moving moving right along, I guess I'm not going to read my my Billy Collins poem. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed. Um, no, I guess I'm gonna because I don't have much else. Uh, anyway, uh, so I have I have several several of them, but what, so I'm gonna give you a choice. We have Billy Collins stubs his toe, and we have Billy Collins eats a cupcake. 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 Oh. Cupcake it is. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. That'll be the next one. <laughs> That'll be the next one. beautiful. Goes to all music. And this is called Billy Collins Eats a Cupcake. Before bed, I ate too many cupcakes. Red velvet cake and dark chocolate icing with cold milk. Then brushed my teeth and got in bed and turned on the light, turned out the light, and tried to fall asleep. But for some reason, all I could think about was that there are people in the world who live for two days on the number of calories an overweight guy had eaten as an unnecessary snack, and the darkness got darker the harder I closed my eyes. Except for those red floaty things you see when you close your eyes too hard, of course. Red and black and red and black with flashes of milk white. Is there some cosmic accounting system keeping track? If I run the water too long brushing my teeth, or take an extra few moments luxuriating in a hot shower on a cold morning, or have a second, okay, third helping, or, I, uh, or ice cream for dessert, or God forbid, red velvet cupcakes and dark chocolate 
bed icing and milk, ice cold milk for a bedtime snack. A bedtime snack. Think of the implications of the very notion of it. Millions, maybe billions of people don't even know if they are going to eat tomorrow or didn't eat today. What am I doing? I read of an Ethiopian child newly arrived in a U.S. elementary school from a refugee camp whose experience all his life had been that all the water there was in his existence had been what his mother could carry in a jar on her head, who could not be kept from going to the water fountain to turn it on and just watch it run. And warm in bed, snuggled with my partner, the automatic climate control on, and the water ready to flush or flow at the turn of a knob, teeth brushed, and really too full of red velvet cupcakes with dark chocolate icing and ice cold milk from the well-stocked refrigerator that isn't even top of the line over there between the gas range and the door into the utility room with its waiting washer and dryer across from the pantry with its collection of food and food gadgets what is too much? What is plenty? What is waste? I fell asleep. All right, now I'm going to read. Uh, I got, I got 